Newmont Mining Corporation, based in Greenwood Village, Colorado, USA, is one of the world's largest producers of gold, with active mines in Nevada, Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand, Ghana and Peru. Holdings include Santa Fe Gold, Battle Mountain Gold, Normandy Mining, Franco Nevada Corporation and Frontier Gold. Newmont also has many joint venture relationships. As of the third quarter of 2014, Newmont was the world's second largest producer of gold, behind only Barrick Gold. In 2010, Newmont produced approximately 5.4 million equity ounces of gold annually and held proven and probable reserves of about 93.5 million. Newmont employs approximately 34,000 employees and contractors worldwide. Other metals that the company mines include copper and silver. Founded in 1916 by William Boyce Thompson as a diversified holding company, today Newmont remains the only gold company in the Standard & Poor's 500 index. History equals Early years equals, Newmont Mining Corporation was founded in 1916 in New York by Colonel William Boyce Thompson as a holding company to invest in worldwide mineral, oil, and related companies. According to company law, the name Newmont is a portmanteau New York, and Montana, reflecting where Thompson made his fortune and where he grew up. In 1929, Newmont became a mining company with its first gold product in by acquiring California's Empire Star Mine. By 1939, Newmont was operating 12 gold mines in North America. The company acquired interests overseas. For decades around the middle of the 20th century, Newmont had a controlling interest in the Tsum mine in Namibia and in the Elokeep Copper Company in Namaqualand, South Africa. Beginning in 1925, Newmont acquired interests in a Texas oil field. Eventually, Newmont's oil interests included more than 70 blocks in the Louisiana, Gulf of Mexico area and oil and gas production in the North Sea. Newmont discovered the world a Euro unregistered trademark as fur submicroscopic or a Euro OE invisible a Euro gold at Carlin, Nevada in the early 1960s and began production on the first open pit gold mine in the world. The Carlin trend, or Carlin unconformity is the largest gold discovery in North America during the 20th century. In 1971, Newmont began using the heap leaching technology on sub-mill grade ores there. In the 1980s, Newmont thwarted five takeover bids a euro from Consolidated Goldfields, T. Boone Pickens, Menorco, Hansen Industries and Sir James Goldsmith a euro, who sought to break Newmont apart and sell its assets to increase shareholder value. Equals major growth equals, after 1987, the company undertook major restructuring. This included the payment of a $33 US per share dividend to all shareholders for a total of $2.2 billion, US of which $1.75 billion US was borrowed. To reduce this debt the company undertook a divestment program involving all of its copper, oil, gas, and coal interests. As a further step in the restructuring, the company moved its headquarters from New York City to Denver in 1988. A decade later, Newmont Mining Corporation and Newmont Gold Company combined assets to form a unified worldwide gold company. Shareholders of both companies had identical interests in the reserves, production and earnings of Newmont Gold's operations. Newmont then merged with Santa Fe Pacific Gold Corporation to form North America's largest gold producer. On June 21, 2000, Newmont announced a merger with Battle Mountain Gold Company. The merger was completed in January 2001. In February 2002, Newmont completed the acquisition of Normandy Mining Limited and Franco Nevada Mining Corporation Limited. Newmont faced competition in its bid for Normandy from Anglo Gold. By eventually outbidding the South African company, Newmont became the world's largest gold producer, with an annual production in excess of 8 million ounces. In 2007, the company eliminated its 1.5 million ounce legacy hedge book to make Newmont the world a Euro unregistered trademark s largest unhedged gold producer. The following year, Newmont acquired Miramar Mining Corporation and its Hope Bay deposit in the Canadian Arctic. In late 2008, Newmont moved its headquarters from Denver to the suburb of Greenwood Village, 
Colorado. In 2009, Newmont purchased the remaining one-third interest in Boddington Gold Mine from Anglo Gold Ashanti, bringing its ownership to 100%. In April 2011, the company acquired Canada's Frontier Gold Incorporated for 2.3 billion Canadian dollars. This made the company the world's second largest gold producer. Operations and major projects. Equals Nevada equals as of 2011, Newmont a Euro unregistered trademark S Nevada 14 open pit and four underground operations include Carlin, located west of the city of Elko on the geologic feature known as the Carlin Trend. A Phoenix Gold Copper Mine, located 10 miles south of Battle Mountain, the Twin Creeks Mine, located approximately 15 miles north of Golconda. And the Midas Mine, near the town of the same name. It also participates in the Turquoise Ridge joint venture with a subsidiary of Barrick Gold Corporation, which utilizes mill capacity at Twin Creeks. With the acquisition of Frontier Gold, over 60 additional projects were added to the Newmont portfolio. The flagship property, Long Canyon, is located on a gold trend that is similar to the Carlin trend in terms of its characteristics and potential. Equals Colorado equals, in August 2015. Newmont purchased the Cripple Creek and Victor gold mine from Anglo Gold Ashanti. The mine is the largest gold and silver producer in the state of Colorado. Equals Unacaca, Peru equals, the properties of Mineral Unacaca SRL are located approximately 375 miles north of Lima and 30 miles north of Cajamarca, in Peru. Unacaca began production in 1993. Newmont holds a 51.35% interest in Unacaca with the remaining interest held by Cumpla Plus or Minus Ia de Minas Bonaventura, SA and the International Finance Corporation. Unacaca Euro unregistered trademark S mining rights consist of concessions granted by the Peruvian government to Unacaca and a related entity. Unacaca currently has three active open pit mines, Cerro Unacaca, La Quinua and Caquicacha. In addition, reclamation and or backfilling activities at Caracugo, San Jose and Makimaki are currently underway. Unacaca Euro unregistered trademark S gold production for 2010 was 1.5 million ounces. As of December 31, 2010, Newmont reported 5.0 million ounces of gold reserves. In 2011, Newmont a Euro unregistered trademark S board of directors granted approval to develop the Conga project. Located in the provinces of Salenda N, and Sorish Yuko Hosma N districts and Kaja Mecca district of Inkar plus or minus Ada. Newmont a Euro unregistered trademark S ownership interest is identical to Unacaca. If all permits are secured, the commencement of production is expected in late 2014 or early 2015. In 2015, agents acting on behalf of Newmark Mining Corporation, attacked and beat a woman who refuses to move from her home to allow for the development of a mine. Indigenous Peruvian farm worker Maxima Aqua plus or minus a Detroit withstood violent eviction attempts, beatings, and a legal battle to protect her land from being turned into an open pit gold mine. Police officials of mining company destroy home of Mars Zyma Aqua plus or minus a Chorp, February 4, 2015, by Hilary Ergida. The Kaja Merka home was destroyed by officials of the Special Operations Division. 150,000 stand with Peruvian women in fight against World Euro unregistered trademark S largest gold mine Eric Hofner April 23, 2015 10.42 a.m. Peruvian farmer harassed after lawsuit win against Newmont, by Shreema Mata February 4, 2015. Equals Australia equals Newmont acquired its Australian assets with the acquisition of Normandy Mining in 2002. Boddington. Newmont a Euro unregistered trademark as newest Australian asset is Boddington, which is now Australia's largest gold producer. It has been wholly owned since June 2009, when Newmont acquired the final 33.33% interest from Anglo Gold Ashanti Australia Limited. Boddington poured its first gold in September 2009 and commenced commercial production in November 2009. Boddington produced 728,000 ounces of gold and 58 million pounds of copper in 2010. As of year-end 2010, 
it reported 20.3 million ounces of gold reserves and 2,360 million pounds of copper reserves. Tanami The Tanami operations include the Granite's treatment plant and associated mining operations, which are located in the Northern Territory approximately 342 miles northwest of Alice Springs, adjacent to the Tanami Highway, and the Dead Bullock Soak mining operations, approximately 25 miles west of the Granites. The Tanami operations have been wholly owned since April 2003, when Newmont acquired the minority interests. Operations today are predominantly focused on the Cali underground mine at Dead Bullock Soak and or is processed through the Granite's treatment plant. During 2010, the Tanami operations produced 250,000 ounces of gold. As of December 31, 2010, it had a reported 2.0 million ounces of gold reserves. Kalgoorlie The Kalgoorlie operations comprise the Fimiston Open Pit and Mount Charlotte underground mine at Kalgoorlie Boulder, 373 miles east of Perth. The mines are managed by Kalgoorlie Consolidated Gold Mines Proprietary Limited for the joint venture owners, Newmont and Barrick, each of which holds a 50% interest. During 2010, the Kalgoorlie operations produced 754,000 ounces of gold. It reported 3.8 million ounces of gold reserves on December 31, 2010. Equals New Zealand equals, Newmont acquired its way assets as part of the acquisition of Normandy Mining in 2002. The way operation produced 108,000 ounces of gold in 2010 and reported 0.5 million ounces of gold reserves at year end. Martha the Martha Mine operations are located within the town of Way, located approximately 68 miles southeast of Auckland, New Zealand. The Open Pit Mine has operated over historic underground gold mine working since 1988. Favena The Favena underground mine began extracting ore at the end of 2006. Equals Batuhajal, Sambola, Indonesia equals Newmont operates the Batuhaja mine on the island of Sumbul and the Indonesia in the province of West Nusa Tengra through its subsidiary company PT Newmont Nusa Tengra which is a joint venture between Newmont, Sumitomo Corporation and PT Pukafu Inda. Batuhaja is a large porphyry copper gold deposit, which Newmont discovered in 1990. Development and construction activities began in 1997 and start-up occurred in late 1999. In 2010, Batu Hajal produced 542 million pounds of copper and 737,000 ounces of gold. At December 31, 2010, it reported 3,760 million pounds of copper reserves and 3.7 million ounces of gold reserves. In 2008, the Indonesian government threatened to terminate the contract of PT Newmont Nasa Tengra after accusing it of failing to meet its divestment obligations. On April 1, 2009 international arbitrators and its partner sided with Newmont rejecting Jakarta's request to have their contract revoked, which would have forced the company to walk away from the property without any compensation, instead Newmont is forced to sell a 17% stake in an Indonesian subsidiary within 180 days. In 2011, subsidiaries of Newmont and Sumitomo Corporation divested a 7% investment in PTNNT Pusat and Vstazi Pemerinta, designated as the buyer by the Indonesian government, signed a sale and purchase agreement for the shares worth $246.8 million. Nasa Tengra Partnership BV, which holds Newmont a Euro unregistered trademark S shares and PTNNT a Euro together with shares held by a subsidiary of Sumitomo Corporation of Japan a Euro now owns 49% of PTNNT. Of that amount, Newmont will directly own 27.56% of PTNNT and has another 17% economic interest through financing arrangements with existing shareholders. Equals Ghana equals the Ahafo operation is located in the Brong Ahafo region of Ghana, approximately 180 miles northwest of Accra. Ahafo poured its first gold on July 18, 2006 and commenced commercial production in August 2006. Newmont operates four open pits at Ahafo with reserves contained in 11 pits. Commercial production in the fourth pit, Amama, began in October 2010. 
AHAFO produced 545,000 ounces of gold in 2010 and at December 31, 2010, reported 10.0 million ounces of gold reserves. Additionally, Numenta Euro unregistered trademark Esakium Mine is located approximately 80 miles northwest of Accra. In January 2010, Newmont received the mining lease. After close to two years of construction, the Accium mine commenced commercial production in late 2013. At December 31, 2010, Newmont reported 7.2 million ounces of gold reserves. Equals other operations equals. Canada, Newmont owns 100% of the Hope Bay project, a large undeveloped gold project in the Kaitik Mnot region of Canada. Hope Bay is an 80-kilometer district in the Canadian Arctic and is one of the last known undeveloped greenstone belts in the world. In 2010, Newmont commenced an underground decline at the Doris North Deposit. As of January 31, 2012 Newmont has decided to put the Hope Bay project on care and maintenance until further notice. Mexico, Newmont has a 44% interest in La Herradura which is located in Mexico Euro unregistered trademark S Sonora Desert. La Herradura is operated by Fresnillo PLC and comprises an open pit operation with run of mine heap leach processing. La Herradura produced 174,000 attributable ounces of gold in 2010. As of December 31, 2010, it had 2.3 million ounces of gold reserves. Former Operations Newmont has purchased and sold a number of operations in recent years, Golden Grove Mine, owned by Normandy Mining Limited since 1991, Golden Grove was acquired by Newmont Australia Limited in February 2002 when Newmont took over Normandy. Newmont sold on the mine to Auxiana Limited in June 2005 for 265 million Australian dollars. Pajingo Pajingo is an underground mine located approximately 93 miles southwest of Townsville, Queensland and 45 miles south of the local township of Charters Towers. Newmont sold the mine in late 2007. It is now owned by Conquest Mining. Bronze Owen Gold Mine, View Resources purchased the mine in July 2004 from Newmont for 9.0 million Australian dollars, a package that also included the McClure mining operation. 8 kilometers west of Bronze Owing. Eluna Gold Mine, also part of the Normandy acquisition, Gawid Limited, later Agincourt Resources, purchased the mine on December 10, 2003 from Newmont for shares and $3.65 million in cash. Zarafshan, Newmont was part of a joint venture gold project in Uzbekistan, the first major Western investment in the region since the breakup of the Soviet Union. A difficult place to operate. Uzbekistan expropriates the Compania Euro unregistered trademark S assets in 2006. Korikulo, the Korikulo open pit mine is on a high plain in northwestern Bolivia near Elro, on government mining concessions issued to a Bolivian corporation, Empresa Minera Inti Remi S.A., in which Newmont had an 88% interest. The remaining 12% was owned by Mrs. Beatriz Rocobedo. Inti Remi owned and operated the mine. On July 23, 2009, Newmont announced the transfer of its interest in Empresa Minera Inti Remi S.A., which owned the Cori Kulo Gold Mine and Cori Sherka Gold Mine, to Compania Precisadora de Minerals S.A., a company controlled by Newmont's longtime Bolivian partner Jose Mercado. Minahasa, Newmont owns 80% of Minahasa and the remaining 20% interest is a carried interest held by P.T. Tinjung Serapong an unrelated Indonesian company. Minahasa is located on the island of Sulawesi, approximately 1,500 miles northeast of Jakarta. Mining was completed in late 2001 and gold production was completed in 2004. Golden Giant, Newmont's Canadian operations previously included two underground mines. Golden Giant was located approximately 25 miles east of Marathon, Ontario, Canada, and had been in production since 1985. Mining operations at Golden Giant were completed in December 2005 with remnant mining and milling production continuing throughout most of 2006. Holloway, Holloway was located approximately 35 miles east of Matheson, Ontario, and about 400 miles northeast of Golden Giant. It was in production since 1996. 
On November 6, 2006, Newmont completed the sale of the Holloway Mine to St. Andrews Goldfields Limited, resulting in a $13 pre tax gain. Controversies equals Nevada state tax deductions equals, in 2011 it was revealed that the mining industry had taken questionable state tax deductions, but that the deductions had been approved by the Nevada Tax Commission. In March 2011, Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval replaced his director of taxation, citing problems in auditing these tax deductions. Statements by both Nevada Mining Association President Tim Crowley and Republican Assembly Minority Floor Leader Pete Gokoichia of Eureka County in Nevada made it more plausible that the deductions approved by state regulators may have been improper. This prompted a call in the state legislature for emergency regulations to specifically disallow some tax deductions. The outgoing state director of taxation admitted that his department had no one trained to audit mining companies for the past two years. This is shown also in the close ties between regulators and industry employees, such as Robert J. Miller, who served as director of Newmont Mining Corporation right after being governor of Nevada for a decade. Miller was succeeded by the late Kenny Ginn, who proposed a tax restructuring during the 2003 legislative session that was met with opposition from anti-tax business groups and many anti-tax Republicans. FIN 48 An interpretation of FASB 109 requires companies to analyze the technical merits of their tax positions and determine the likelihood that these positions will be sustained if they were ever examined by the taxing authorities. The 76th session of the Nevada Legislature, over opposition from the mining industry, passed Senate Bill 493, which was one of two controversial mining-related measures. Senate Bill 493 creates the Mining Oversight and Accountability Commission, a seven-member panel to oversee regulations for mining safety and taxation. An amendment to the measure also eliminates the major deductions mining companies may take when calculating net proceeds of minerals taxes. However, some representatives of the mining industry said that one of the proposed changes would not increase tax collections, if you don't your Euro unregistered trademark T let us deduct this, we Euro unregistered trademark LL deduct something else. A Newmont Mining Corporation staffer used this argument to win the employee housing deduction saying employee housing cut travel costs. The mines in Nevada, including those of Newmont Mining Corporation, will report their deductions to the Mining Oversight and Accountability Commission, which was created under SB. 493. Equals Bachu Hijamine, employees walking out for overtime pay equals, a strike. Ended on Friday 6 August, after some 1,500 miners of the PTNNT Labor Union, affiliated to the Chemical, Energy, Mine Workers Euro Unregistered Trademark Union of the Indonesia Workers Euro Unregistered Trademark Union, agreed to await an overtime pay judgment from a provincial government. The strike started on August 1 and completely shut U.S.-based Newmont Mining Corporation the Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Rich Bachu Hija Mines and Operations on Sambora Island. The dispute started some three weeks after the Manpower and Transmigration Ministry of West Nesitengra Province issued an order that management was in arrears on a P126 billion in overtime wages to some 1,919 workers dating back to 2008. Equals Nevada Operations, Mine Managers Fined for Death in Nevada Mine Equals the Mine Safety and Health Administration also announced Tuesday that four supervisors for the Denver-based mining company have agreed to pay a combined $60,000 in individual penalties for their role in the accident at the Midas Mine north of Elko in June 2007. The agency said managers showed a disregard for the miners' welfare, and acted with more than ordinary negligence before the victim fell through a sinkhole while operating a large loader about 200 feet below the entrance of the mine. Equals Yunakaka Mine equals. The Yunakaka gold mine in northern Peru is considered one of the largest and most profitable in the world, producing over 7 billion US dollars worth of gold to date. Before 1994, the mine was co owned by Newmont, Bernaventura, and Bureau de Recherches Gar Copyrightologics A. Minieres, a French government owned company. 
This partnership collapsed in 1994 after BRGM tried to sell part of its shares in the company to an Australian company which was a rival of Newmont. Newmont and Bowen Aventura would both go to court to challenge the trade. Larry Curlander, then a senior executive at Newmont, claimed the French president Jacques Chirac had sent a letter to then Peruvian president Alberto Fujimori asking him to intervene in the court case in favor of the French owned company. Curlander had been sent by Newmont to Peru to try to get a favorable outcome for Newmont in the dispute. The legal battle would eventually make it all the way up to the Peruvian Supreme Court. During this period Curlander acknowledges having met with Vladimir Montezanos, the Peruvian intelligence chief who has since been found guilty of embezzlement, illegally assuming his post as intelligence chief, abuse of power, influence peddling and bribing TV stations. 3, 4, however, Curlander claims that he did nothing illegal and that the French government were taking similar steps in trying to contact Montezanos. The French ambassador to Peru Antoine Blanca denies this, pointing to the fact that Montezanos was on the CIA payroll and thus would naturally side with the US-based company. After the fall of Fujimori in 2000 a number of videos Montezanos had taped of himself meeting with several domestic and foreign leaders and offering bribes and accepting them had emerged. In October 2005 Frontline in co-production with the New York Times found a February 1998 recording of a telephone conversation between Montezanos and Curlinder. The following is an excerpt from the tape, Curlinder. We have a very serious problem in Peru with our company and Minera Burn Aventura so I have enlisted the support of some of my friends from a variety of intelligence communities. I need it especially because the other side has been acting quite strangely. Montezanos, tell him that I am perfectly aware of the problem he has and the people he represents have with the French, as well as the problem he has with the judiciary. Curlinder, so now you have a friend for life. I want a friend for life. Montezanos, I thank you very much for what you have just told me and well you already have a friend. Tell him I'm going to help him with the voting. I would like to know the tricky practices of the French. The French Connection. Curlinder, the French connection. Laughter, 5. Along with this telephone conversation, Frontline and the New York Times also rebroadcast three other videos. One was filmed in April 1998 and shows Montezanos talking to Don Arabian, the CIA station chief in Peru, in an attempt to get CIA to pressure the U.S. to back Newmont in the case. In the video Montezanos claims to have found emails from Paris to Peru of French officials trying to influence the court to get a decision favorable to France. Another video recorded in May 1998 shows Montezanos meeting with Peruvian Supreme Court Justice, and former classmate, Jaime Beltran Caroga. In it Montezanos states that state interests are at stake in the case between Newmont and BRGM. He tells Quiroga that if the decision goes to Newmont that the United States will back Peru in its border dispute with Ecuador which had a few years ago exploded into the Senate-Paul War. He also tells Quiroga to deny any connection with him to the press. Quiroga would later play a crucial role in the case, his vote would be the deciding vote in the Newmont victory. After the video was first broadcast in Peru in 2001, on a Peruvian local television station the French ambassador Antoine Blanca was quoted as saying now I know why Newmont won. In the final July 1999 video, Montezanos is again seen with the now departing CIA station chief Don Arabian giving him a gift and thanking him for the help he has given Peru stating, W, he hoped that when you're back there, in Washington you'll remember your friends. Equals Buat Bay, Sulawesi, Indonesia equals, in August 2004, the Indonesian Ministry of Environment filed a 133.6 million US dollars civil lawsuit against Newmont, claiming tailings from the company's minor Hasarea mine polluted Buat Bay in the North Sulawesi province, contaminating local fish stocks and causing nearby villages to become seriously ill. Newmont denied the allegations arguing that the illnesses had more to do with poor hygiene and poverty. On November 15, 2005, a South Jakarta court dismissed the suit on technical grounds, saying the government had breached the terms of its contract with Newmont when it took legal action before seeking arbitration. Environmentalists urged for the suit to be appealed, 
but on December 1, 2005, Environment Minister Raj Matwitoala said the government expected to reach an out-of-court settlement with Newmont's local subsidiary. By negotiating a settlement, we hope to be able to quickly compensate people living near the mine, he said. The government negotiating team was led by Chief Economics Minister Abarizal Bakri. On February 16, 2006, the Indonesian government announced it would settle the civil suit for 30 million US dollars to be paid over the next 10 years. The agreement also includes increased scientific monitoring and enhanced community development programs for the North Sulawesi province. With the civil lawsuit settled, attention focused on the criminal charges against President Director Richard Ness. In December 2006, Newmont Mining Corporation objected to a documentary entitled Bye Bye Buat being nominated for Indonesia's top film award, FFI Citra Award. The company said that it interfered with Ness ongoing trial. After a 21-month trial a Euro one of the longest proceedings in Indonesian history a Euro Ness was found innocent of the pollution charges on April 24, 2007. The court found that the company was in compliance with all regulations and permits during its operations at the site, and failed to find evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that Nemont's subsidiary had polluted Buat Bay. At the end of May, the prosecution appealed to the Supreme Court to overturn the ruling. A week after being found not guilty of criminal charges, Richard Ness sued the New York Times and Indonesian court for libel. The lawsuit asks for nearly 65 million US dollars in damages and that the New York Times print a page one retraction of previously published articles. In October 2007 an Indonesian court threw out the suit stating it was not within their jurisdiction. The case was being appealed. Equals Accium, Ghana, Hall of Shame winner 2009 of the Public Eye Award equals, Newmont received the 2009 Public Eye Award for its Accium project in Ghana. According to the jury it had destroyed unique natural habitats, carried out forced resettlement of local people and polluted soil and rivers. Newmont described the information as misleading and said the project had been extensively studied by international and national environmental experts, members of the local communities, and by the appropriate governmental agencies and departments. In March 2010 Newmont admits to pay a compensation in accordance with the law. January 2010 Ghanaian authorities litigate Newmont mining for millions of dollars. Newmont is accused of negligently spilling cyanide at its Ahafo gold mine in October 2009, resulting in water contamination and fish kills. See also, Tia Maria Mine. References Further reading, Morris, Jack H. Going for Gold. The History of Newmont Mining Corporation. University of Alabama Press. ISBN 978-0-8173-1677-8. External links, Newmont Mining Corporation. Beyond the Mine, Newmont's Environmental Social Responsibility. Facebook, Trust in Gold, The Curse of Inca Gold, Frontline World, October 2005, Indonesia, Report Heightens Pollution Dispute with Newmont Mining from the New York Times, Reprinted by Corp Watch, SEC allows Newmont Mining to block NYC Pension Fund's environmental resolution. 6. Newmont Public Statement about Newmont's North American Regional Office and their Nevada operations.